Princeton's Devin Kennedy wasn't necessarily looking to go to college 700 miles from his home in the Hoosier State, but a fellow Indiana native convinced him it was the right choice. Personally, uh, in the recruiting process, family is a big key to, um, to what my decision was going to be, and I thought staying close was that connection that I'd have. But uh, once Princeton started recruiting me, knowing Coach Henderson's from Indiana, having that pipeline, that sense of home away from home, I think that, that played a big part in the reason why I came here. Where I come from, you tend to get to know all the schools in the area, just like you from anywhere, but basketball being a really important sport in the state of Indiana. Um, you know, when I was in school, we played in Mishawaka Marion, and so I, had, I knew people that were around the program, and everyone said the same thing about Devin. Um, you know, he was you know, not only a great basketball player, great student, but um, you know, he was a it was a bright shining light in that community. I'm from northern Indiana, um, it's a town called Mishawaka, not a lot of people know about it, um, but it's like the sister city to South Bend, which is where Notre Dame's located. So back home, uh, it's a lot of basketball. Go to the park, you find people playing, so a lot of pickup when I was younger. Now I'm driving down the road and you see a basketball hoop at every single house. The, the, the statewide tournament where the small town school can beat the big city school, um, just having that community, that sense of community, bring, having something that brings them together. Uh, so I think that's, that's a little bit of why Indiana basketball is so big. A freshman guard for the Tigers, Kennedy's impact has been immediate. In his college debut back in November, he tallied a game-high 17 points, including a high-flying dagger late in the second half that helped secure a Princeton win at Ryder. Loose ball, scramble, Princeton's got it. Up ahead, it's Kennedy by himself for the dunk. Through January, Kennedy was second on the Tigers in both scoring and steals despite playing just 21 minutes per game. With any team, whatever sport it is, if, if you're a substitute, if you're an alternate, um, you don't want any, anything to lack when you're on the court compared to someone else. So um, when I come off the bench, I like to try and keep, keep the same intensity that the starters have, uh, make sure we're not skipping a beat and that I can bring that energy off the bench. Well, he's fast, he can make a shot. Um, he played against the best players, and he, was play, he played uh, in the Peach Jam, you know, the whole Nike series. So, you know, he was up against and playing with some of the best players in the country, and uh, he was unafraid. And kind of what we were exactly what we were looking for. Playing behind sophomore point guard Amir Bell, Kennedy has often been the first player off the Princeton bench, and Mitch Henderson hasn't hesitated to put Kennedy and Bell together in the backcourt. I think it gives uh, us. And an extra element of scoring. Devin hasn't played that many minutes and he's obviously able to score in quick bunches, but it allows Amir to be less focused on being a point guard, which um, I think we saw with our last game. It is good for him too. When you have two point guards in the game, you know, you can play a little faster. We like to get out and transition a little more. You have two guys thinking the game like a point guard, so you know, the ball moves. Um, we just get through our offense and, you know, it's really nice having two point guards out there to make decisions. Kennedy to the foul line. Now Bell will try a three. That's good. Amir wow. Bell hitting the three. The lead out to nine for Princeton. I think Amir and I, being that our birthdays are on the exact same date, uh, we have some sort of connection. And when I was re getting recruited here and him and I were walking around campus, we figured that out, um, knowing that we're both guards, but we're, we're different type of guards. He's a little taller. Um, he likes to create, and he's a playmaker. And knowing that I can make some shots, I think uh, we're a good little tandem in the backcourt. We're on the court together. Kennedy took home the final Ivy League Rookie of the Week award in December after a 17-point game against Bucknell, the first of five straight double-digit scoring games for the 6-1 freshman. Stolen by Kennedy, ahead of the pack. Kennedy lays it up and in with the right hand. He enters February third among Ivy League freshmen in points per game and leads the ancient eight in free throw shooting. He's not a typical freshman at his position in that he's um, you know, strong. He's got the physical capabilities to guard bigger guys and handle the physical play of, of a five, six month season. So um, that said, he is getting better every single week. And while he only has one semester at Princeton under his belt, Kennedy is already looking to make an impact off the court. I really find the passion and interest with uh, sociology, just study of humans and how they interact. I think uh, a big key after college, maybe just go back home and try and develop some organizations and help like underprivileged kids who, who don't have opportunities, have opportunities so one day they could possibly attend a school like this rather than not being allowed to um, achieve some things that other students have. So I think that's one thing that I'm interested in, but I'm still trying to find my path. 
And you see Tigers diving out on the floor here, still leading by 40. I think his best basketball is ahead of him. And Devin's a little bit like, uh, he's just eager in, in all phases of his life to get better. And that, and that usually translates pretty well into getting better. For GoPrincetonTigers.com, I'm Cody Cruchel.